Yo, what's good, everybody? Cat here. And today, I kind of want to talk about something that's been bothering me about myself. I, maybe you guys deal with it also. And <laughs> when I say that, it makes it sound ultra serious. It's not that serious, but it's just something that happens when I'm gaming. And it's getting angry. Now, I tilt really easy. They call you, you're tilted, whatever. I get mad very easy when I'm playing video games, especially competitive games. And lately, a lot of games that have been coming out, uh, let's say Rainbow Six, um, Fortnite, PUBG, Escape from Tarkov. These games are the games that I play, right? All of these games have one thing in common, and that's when you die, you're out of the round or you're out of the game, right? Especially PUBG, Fortnite, Escape from Tarkov. Those three, once you die, you're going back to the lobby completely. Then you have to queue up again and do whatever you have to do there. And it gets frustrating to a point where it's like it hinders your enjoyment of the game, period. Now, I don't know. <laughs> this video is not solving the issue it's not solving the problem it's more asking the question and starting a conversation for you guys in the comment section uh you guys can tell me what games make you the angriest how do you guys deal with it i can tell you right now that fighting games make me really mad PUBG, fortnite escape from tarkov these games make me mad but it it starts making me mad to a point where i start getting sad too because it's like i'm sucking man and it gets me to a point where I don't want to play these games, period, even though I really like them, which is ultimately the issue. Like, it's it's a real big issue, especially with fighting games, too. Now, I guess I could tell you guys a story. Um, when Tekken 6 first came out, Tekken 6 came out on the PS3, and I was really excited to play it and learn it. This was the first fighting game that I'm actually sitting down to learn. I played Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I played, like, a lot of different fighting games from back in the day, Street Fighter 2, whatever. But most of the time I'm button mashing when I'm playing these games, I'm not sitting down and actually trying to learn them. I'm just button mashing, doing whatever cheesy combos that I can learn how to do and just do it. So when Tekken 6 came out and I actually owned it, I sat down and I wanted to go into practice mode and actually sit down and learn how to do combos and do all these things, do combos, whatever, right? Learn frame data to a certain extent. And... I would sit in the practice mode for like all day with one character, learn all their moves, sit, go through all their moves, learn how to do combos, everything. And I would even go online and try to invite people from like forums and stuff to play with me to help me get better. I would go into ranked and I would lose a lot, a lot. And I would get so mad, I would punch my table hard. I would throw my controller. I would get really mad at playing those games to the point where it just made me quit. Like, Rage quit the game completely. And to a lesser extent, Tekken 7, right? I, I don't get as mad. I'm better at fighting games now than I was then. Uh, so I don't get as mad when I lose. But it makes me not want to play the game, period. Like, I really enjoy Fortnite, right? But when I play Fortnite, especially if I'm playing solo and not with a squad or duos or whatever, I drop in. I don't find a gun. I die immediately. I'm back to the lobby. Now, repeat that 10 more times, right? Or whatever. It makes me not want to play the game, period. It makes me mad to the point of starting to make me sad. And I'm just sitting there like angry, angry. But what I want to do is play more because I hate that I suck or I feel like I suck or whatever, right? So I want to jump back in. And what that leads to is like this vicious cycle of I go in, I die, I'm sad, but I want to keep playing. So I play, I go in, die, expecting different results or whatever. Nothing happens and I die and it just makes me worse and worse and worse at this game because I know that I'm going to keep dying. And the more I'm, the more angry I'm getting, the more, the worse that I'm playing. And what I want from you guys pretty much while I'm making this video is how do you guys deal with this issue of su not sucking? It's fine if you suck at a game, whatever. As long as you're enjoying the game, it's fine if you suck. But getting angry. How do you guys deal with the issue of getting angry at video games? I try to tell myself, especially like I looked up when Street Fighter V first came out, right? I wanted to learn how to play Street Fighter because Street Fighter IV was really hard for me to play. 
so I was like, you know, what? Street Fighter Five is coming out. I heard it was easier, so I'm gonna learn how to play it. And I would look at guides online because I would get really mad at that game to the point where I didn't want to talk when I was streaming. And I would look up online, like Reddit, how do people deal with the anger? And they're like, oh, you just have to tell yourself that you're going to lose, but you're getting better. And I try to tell myself that when I'm playing certain games, I'm like, you know what? I know I'm going to lose. I'm fully expecting me to lose here, but at least I'm getting better. But I think that getting better part is the part that gets out that gets left out of the whole equation most of the time i'm just like you know what i'm fully expecting myself to die here i die and i'm like well i knew that was gonna happen right without trying to get better at the game without learning from my mistakes or anything i just know that i'm gonna die and i think maybe that's part of the problem maybe i'm not looking at games as i want to get better i'm kind of just looking at it like it's frustrating me and i expect i'm expecting to get frustrated so i'm not gonna get as frustrated as i would be but I play games for fun at the end of the day i do play games because they're fun but when i'm playing like a like a competitive game like overwatch or something of course i want to win when i'm playing it and the only way you're going to win is if you play better if you do better at the game maybe i just need to start thinking like like expecting to lose but knowing that you're going to get better every time you lose until you start winning consistently and you you're getting better and you're getting better maybe i need to look at competitive games like as like a ladder or something you're going up and up and up the more you play you're not going to get worse by playing it more you're going to get better by playing it more you're going to get better if you start learning from your mistakes you start learning why you died instead of getting mad at the game and quitting or shutting it off and going somewhere else keep playing keep at it knowing that you're gonna get better and maybe that'll stop me from getting angry maybe maybe i should try that out but what i want from you guys is just tell me like what do you guys do to manage your anger when you're playing games what games make you the angriest is it fighting games is it racing games is it farming simulator or whatever right tell me what type of games make you guys angry and what do you do to manage your anger or if you don't manage it well tell me that and tell me what you think you guys can do to manage it better what do you think i can do to manage my anger better and maybe i'll take some of your tips and apply it to the games that i play because to be honest i play a lot of frustrating games and i just have to not get frustrated at them anyway i don't want to make this video too long i kind of just wanted to talk about this subject because it's something that i've wanted to talk about for a while and it really hit me when i was streaming yesterday and i was just so angry at every single game that i was playing to the point where i was going to play like final fantasy 15 or something because that game is not going to make me mad it's just a single player game whatever but anyway thank you guys for watching the video hey i have a discord i'm gonna start linking the discord in the description if i remember but i do have a discord channel i'm gonna start posting my videos there when i'm streaming everything we're gonna have separate chats we're gonna have ideas i'm gonna hook up the discord channel for you guys and for me so hopefully you guys join the discord and i can have like a giant discord with the community suggestions all that stuff so i am gonna link the discord if i remember in the description below I'm going to start streaming during the weekends also. You know, I'll make a separate video about this. Whatever. Uh, this video is already too long. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, and peace out.